I'm very, very pleased to announce that the first baby clone uh, is born. She was born yesterday at 11.55 uh, a.m. in the country where she was born. So this will not give you more details about the location. She, she's fine. We call her Eve between us. These guys in the funny suits are making gene chips. The little needles are dropping tiny, nearly invisible bits of DNA onto glass slides. And where did the DNA come from? From babies. Thousands of them. I run a company called Cambrian Genomics. We make DNA and we sell it for money. We like to really allow anyone in the world to become a genetic designer. If you want to build a creature right now, what you would do is you would log on to a website called Genome Compiler. You would design an organism just by dragging and dropping these Lego DNA pieces. That information would be sent to our printer. We would print the DNA out for you. A lot of people think, like, because everyone will be able to design DNA, that everyone will have their own custom designer dinosaur that's hanging out in their kitchen. The, the problem with that model, though, is even though we've reduced the cost of making an organism, uh, it doesn't reduce the cost of verifying that that organism is safe. We're not going to send it to you. We'll send it instead to a contract research organization, which does have um, significant resources to be able to, uh, to keep it controlled and safe. And then they can actually take your DNA, put it into an organism, and make boot up your new creature. In a closed-door meeting at Harvard University on Tuesday, nearly 150 scientists got together to organize the Human Synthetic Genome Project. These days, when Harvard isn't organizing black masses for its students, it's holding Bilderberg-like meetings to create a totally synthetic human genome. Their goal is to artificially synthesize all three billion base pairs or chemical letters in the human genome. Unlike the original Human Genome Project, whose purpose was to read the entire genome, this project, the Synthetic Human Genome Project, will Frankenstein into reality a transgenic human. This process, of course, will require gutting out a human embryo and replacing it with synthetic DNA. Not only will this pave the way for rolling out synthetic humans off the assembly line, it will pave the way for human cloning as well as chimera hybrids of all shapes and sizes. Flying pigs may soon become a reality, ladies and gentlemen, and with gene drive technology, they could have the code built in to force their synthetic genome onto subsequent generations. Clones breeding clones to naturally weed out the population. This will be a pivotal component to the post-human agenda. Since these future clones and transgenic humans will have little choice but to implement the plans of their originating laboratory, sooner rather than later we will see transgenic humans born with cognitive augmentation. Half man, half machine, able to upload to the communications grid and ready to download their orders for extermination. Well, we're a company that produces 100% organic human sleeves. You're probably wondering what's a human sleeve. Well, if you gather around, I can let you know what we do here in full details. So here at Psychosec, we've been able to achieve true immortality by taking your human consciousness and storing it on a device called a portable stack. Police in central Russia continue to collect evidence following a gruesome discovery earlier this week of almost 250 fetuses dumped in a forest. They are thought to have been used in scientific research by a woman who worked at a local medical university before being fired last year. But as Artie's Sean Thomas found out, some experts think the fetuses could even be the product of cloning. Now, human cloning raises deep ethical concerns. There is virtually unanimous consensus in the scientific and medical communities that attempting to use known cloning techniques to actually create a human being is untested, unsafe, and morally unacceptable. Two days ago, the Senate voted to take the time necessary to carefully craft a bill that will ban the cloning of human beings while preserving our ability to use cloning technology for morally acceptable and medically important purposes. 
A hopeful society has institutions of science and medicine that do not cut ethical corners and that recognize the matchless value of every life. Tonight, I ask you to pass legislation to prohibit the most egregious abuses of medical research, human cloning in all its forms, creating or implanting embryos for experiments, creating human-animal hybrids, and buying, selling, or patenting human embryos. Uh, right. Absolutely. You know, if you go to Disney World, for instance, down there in the Haunted Mansion, you see the hologram, right? Or you know how to make a hologram. Well, our scientists have learned how to make people. They call them synthetics. Are you familiar with those? Um, well, actually, we just interviewed John Lear, and he was talking about being in an audience in which they were given a lecture by a guy that they thought was real and found out later was he was a hologram. Well, it's a synthetic. A synthetics, when you touch their skin, it feels like uh, plastic almost. That's the latest technique. The old, the old techniques, uh, if you guys can rent a video, uh, the boys from Brazil, rent it. Because in it, it gives you the exact way it, how our government's been making people. Really? Yeah. Well, come and the on. Soviets have a different method called... I mean, making people meaning temporary people? No. Walking, talking ones. Meaning through genetics? You're not talking about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me, uh, the movie shows it, but I'll share it with you right now. All right. All I need to do is take two cells off of your body, yours. Uh-huh. We give them a small electrical charge. I'm just going to act like a fertilized egg. If I got a fertilized egg, all I need is a receiver in order to make it. So they were hypnotizing women, you know, said they were being invaded by aliens. And the fetus starts growing, right? Needs mm -hmm. food. Well, they can use cows and sheep, too. It's again, a food source, that's all we need. After about 14 weeks, all of a sudden that fetus is gone because they've learned to take, that's when the fetus starts developing its own blood supply. Then they've used a pituitary hormone extract that they have which accelerates the being that grows. Now, the reason was that our scientists were all excited because we could have spare parts. If you need a heart or a liver or anything, you won't have any rejection. It's your own DNA, right? Okay, because theoretically, if we have overpopulation, we don't need more people, right? That's, but the so-called elite are selecting on who they want to have around anyway, so if we want to keep people going as long as we can. I, I talked to the doctor that was working on um, regeneration of Castro, for instance. Right. On the DNA sequencing. And, that, and they're just learning about this. Well, I, my understanding is that a lot of presidents have already been replaced. That's right. Yeah, I, like I don't think... They're I walking think, around, they're, they look old, but they basically, uh, some well, of the it, people are just I'll, I'll, I'll second, just give you something to ponder. I'll give you something to ponder. Get some old videos of George Bush his, when he first came into office. Look at the person and listen to him speak. Look at his actions and listen to his everything that's there. Now, it's a lot easier to put somebody out in front to act as a, you know, even Bush did. He had somebody else that was up there acting like he is and look like it. Even Hitler had a, you know, he had his stand. In fact, his stand-in was the one that they found in the, in the ground over in Germany. I mean, Hitler and Eva and the dog and 14 other people got aboard a plane and flew down to Barcelona, Spain. You were aware of that. And then ended up in Antarctica or in Swabenland and then died a few years ago in Brazil. That's what we heard. Well, I, got a, I have all the documents from our own government. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have a contact, one and of our Stalin contacts. even, uh, Stalin contact. asked for the, you know, they tried to burn the body, and he got the body back, and he said, we had different ears, and, and the um, testicles were different and everything else, so they knew it wasn't Hitler. But is it a clone <laughs> or not? Oh, now you know we're going about cloning. Cloning techniques, uh, since 38, we've been, 1938, they've been making clone people. There's eight countries making clones. I have a doctor friend okay, and all it does is treat you, the clones. Where do you get your information? I get it from some of the people that are willing to come forth and they talk to me because they hope I'll put the information out because they, they always got two people following them and they may be killed. If I start talking about cloning too much, the people that get involved into that uh, you disappear on it. So I don't go into too many more details, but there are inform there is information that's available and it's more and more of that's coming on the line. I just told you, go rent the, uh, the movie. Okay, Boys from Brazil. Yeah, and you'll see the whole technique on what they, they show it to you in different places, so mm -hmm. you, you can imagine what it's going on. Okay, so. Now, now let's go to the next step, because this is the most important part. All right. If your physical reality that you have 
based on this physical life that you have this dream is made up of the experiences that is impregnated on your body and in your mind consciously right mm -hmm. your soul memory is another thing mm -hmm. it goes back whatever time that you have elected to be in this incarnation for whatever reason now let's show you the division on these things since the body is very physical and we had we just got you making a physical being in a few months for spare parts they said now we've got the perfect deal how can we have that work better well if you go to the hospital today and get an encephalogram, what's that? That's the memory of your conscious mind. It's on the CD. Let's download it on this being. Now we got a walking, talking duplicate that has the total memory that you have because we just took it off of your own mind. Okay. It's like Blade Runner, the android. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that it's like this uh, DVD re re you know, recorder. Sometimes you have glitches in it, so you have to have them tuned up occasionally or redone them. And so we take them to Camp David or there's a wing at Bethesda Hospital to just tell you. There's, if you go down there and check, you'll find the, the nurses, if they're willing to come forth, they'll tell you they work on those people and they call them the others. I thought it was uh, interesting. <laughs> they're people. Remember, these people can think and act, but they don't sure. have soul. That's also prophesized. Right, that's beings. true. That's true. Now we have another agenda that's going on, so you have to be careful of all this. There are many extraterrestrials that would like to be in on the game right now, so they can sometimes will come in to these physical beings that we've made to manipulate them. I see. So okay. now you have a combination effort that you have to look at and discernment. Mm -hmm. You have to discern what the game is. Well, just figure that most of the leaders we have in the world have been bought and paid for or created to think a certain way in the world. Mm -hmm. Will turn out fine if it's done properly with he proper just said screening. Seventy percent failure. You simply don't allow it. You, have, you, don't, you simply. What do you do with them? Huh? What? Obviously, do do they miscarry. They have to be terminated. I'm well, sorry. And, and that, that is that a necessary you price. Kill, no, you, you, you terminate. You can have a terribly deformed child. Nature generally solves the problem by Absolutely carrying not. a miscarriage. How do you know they, they won't have, be born? Dolly's mutating. How Dolly's do you know when the child? She's a little fat no, because how, every how journalist you know goes aging. in there and gives her a piece how of candy. How do you know when that child is born? And that's why she's overweight. You would be overweight too. Look at all of us. Most of us are overweight. We're not gene mutants. 50 years ago. I know very much. You know what happened? You politics. Politics, what happened? politics got involved. It's not about Poli politics. No, they took the muscle of the it's state. It's a disgrace and they, here. They took the muscle of the state and put it, it put it behind who could breed and how they could breed. And that's just what you're trying to do. Absolutely telling people not. you have not we the right to reproduce. We are saying that science should you, not create you, monsters. And that you're saying that we should outlaw science.